What's going on guys and welcome back to another Vikings franchise gameplay. We are here in week number nine getting ready to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Before I get into the gameplay though I gotta do this. Shout out to our new subscriber JD the Zodiac King. I appreciate you for subscribing to the channel. Our subscriber count is now up to 31. Still surreal to me. Um, Just a couple weeks ago we were at 20 so I know it's nothing huge. We're still a small channel but I appreciate everything. Appreciate all the likes on the videos, comments, everything. I enjoy reading them all. Anyways, into today's gameplay. Like I said, we're in week number nine, getting ready to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Story coming into week number nine is uh, Harrison Smith is still on the team. I've mentioned previously that I was trying to trade Harrison Smith before this uh, the week eight deadline um, just because I knew, I mean, it's a contract year for Harrison Smith. Um, definitely not going to resign him. He's asking for way too much money. He's asking for like 50-something million. And for a safety with 87 speed, kind of old and going to start regressing a lot um yeah I, I don't have any time for that i'm not going to uh, pay someone like that i'll just go ahead and look for a new safety and free agency or through the draft so yeah that's what's going to happen so harrison smith is on the team still hate to uh end up losing him uh without getting anything back in return and definitely want to try to pull off a blockbuster trade at the end and maybe get a young safety in return or something like that. I don't know. But I still do have another safety that I might use over Harrison's well in Harrison Smith's place for next year. He's decent. He's not the best, he's decent. Anyways, into today's game, the Rams are coming in with a record of three and four. Playoff pictures start to take shape here, so the Rams are definitely going to need to start getting on the right side of winning here if they have any chance or desire of making the playoffs. So starting off things here on defense, the Rams defense is coming up big, stopping the uh the Vikings offense and ended up stopping us on a third and nine. Kirk Cousins making a throw to Irv Smith Jr. And he unfortunately gets stopped two yards shy of the first down marker. Bringing on our punter. Um, decent punt, decent return to the 32-yard line. Jared Goff on the field for the first time. Handed off the ball to his running back Cam Akers. I'm pretty sure his name is Cam Akers. Gets a small gain of one yard on the first carry. Second down, Jared Goff looking to put this ball in the air. And he has a wide open Robert Root. Well, Ro uh, Robert Woods right up the middle. I don't know what happened there. I think that might have been another blown coverage. I I know for a fact that was like, what, cover six? I had a blue, deep blue there in the middle of the field. I don't know where he went. Um, I don't know what it is with Madden in these zones, man. These deep blues, especially if you have them in the middle of the field, some route combinations just really screw them up. Anyways, first and ten to second possession for our Vikings offense. We try to run the jet sweep. Ed unfortunately goes nowhere. Second and ten asking Kirk Cousins to put the ball in the air. And Dalvin Cook wasn't working out for us. Uh, Justin Jefferson wasn't, but you know our uh, our uh, over-reliable receiver, Adam Thielen, will get the job done for us. Makes the catch and gets the first down. Second and seven, Dalvin Cook gets a uh, decent gain of three yards. Second and seven, Kirk Cousins run, running for his life because Aaron Donald is chasing after him. Gets that ball away, bringing up a third and seven. Kirk Cousins back to throw again, looking for over-reliable Adam Thielen on the sideline, makes the catch at the 39-yard line. Vikings are in, 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 uh, we're moving. We're in, we're, I don't know what we're in, but we're moving. Uh, first and 10, trying to take a deep shot into the end zone for Justin Jefferson, just unable to make the catch. Uh, second and 10, we try, we're still trying to get Dalvin Cook going. He's our, he's a go-to guy for us. Even though he's not working out early, we're still, that's not going to, uh, deter us. We're still going to keep throwing the ball, uh, running the ball with him. And we're going to keep on throwing the ball to Adam Thielen because he it seems to be working so far. Makes the catch there down to the 13-yard line. First and 10, wildcat formation. Dalvin Cook gets the direct snap. Gets a beautiful block there by Alexander Madison. And he is into the end zone for the first touchdown of today and his 13th touchdown of the season. Dalvin Cook has been having an amazing year uh, with these touchdowns, man. And just a beautiful block there by Alexander Madison. Got, can't, can't forget, Alexander Madison is also a go-to guy for us. So maybe we'll see a little bit of him there also. First and 10, Cam Akers. First, uh, uh, second, or, yeah, second carry. Gains another one yard, just like his first carry. Two carries for two yards for uh, Cam Makers. Second and nine from the 22-yard line. Jarrett Goff back in the shotgun, empty formation. Looking to put this one in the air and ends up finding Bird across the middle on the slant. Beats Holton Hill. Uh, gains, gets the game down to the 36-yard line. Goff under pressure on first uh, first down. Gets that ball away. Ends up finding Cam Makers on the drag route. Picks up a decent game for a second and three. Uh, they hand the ball off to Cam Akers, picks up the first down. Gladney makes the tackle down at the 46-yard line. Still in this first ha uh, first quarter, uh, Jarrett Goff putting the ball in the air. Robert Woods makes the catch this time and takes a huge shot. Somehow holds on to the ball. Beautiful coverage there. 
Uh, second and nine. This time, hit as he's uh, hit as he's trying to make the catch. Robert Woods ends up dropping the ball. Oh my gosh! Third and nine. He ends up settling underneath for the underneath pass to Robert Woods, but he had a touchdown. I don't know who that number five is, but he was running right up the seams. Probably, yeah, he probably would have had a touchdown. Just glad he uh, didn't see that. First and ten from the eleven yard line. Golf going to run the screen to Acres, and he takes a shot from Mike Hughes. At the 10-yard line, holds onto the ball. Second and eight. Jarrett Goff back to throw again and throws it right over the head at Eric Kendrick. So, what? whoever that guy is, I don't even know his name. I don't know why people change their numbers up so much. But whoever five is, he ends up getting in the touchdown eventually. Um, first and 10. Kirk Cousins back on the field, down uh, 14 to 7. Handing the ball off to Dalvin Cook. Finally, Dalvin Cook seems to be getting something going. That is his longest run of the day besides his uh, Wildcat touchdown run. Second and six. Dangerous throw there by Kirk Cousins trying to hit Justin Jefferson. Luckily, that ball was not intercepted. It should have been after it was batted around twice. On third and six, another horrible pass by Kirk Cousins. Almost overthrew Justin Jefferson. Just a better catch by uh, better catch and adjustment by Justin Jefferson. Make that uh, make that play. Picked up the first down. Second and seven from the 43-yard line. We're gonna hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook one more time. We're still trying to get him going. Hasn't had much. Hasn't had much success on the ground. Seven carries for 30 yards. Uh, third and three. Kirk Cousins back to throw, looking and finding late Tajay Sharp across the middle. Tajay Sharp had that huge game last week for us against the, uh, oh my gosh, accidental run, run commit. Kirk Cousins has Adam Thielen wide open. Accurate toss past my ass. How? How? Oh my gosh, come on now. And of course, on second and 10, Aaron Donald breaks free, bringing down Kirk Cousins for a loss of 14 yards. Third and 24, needing a big play here. You know who we're going to go to, Adam Thielen, and he picks it up. Needed 24, Adam Thielen got us 26 and the first down. Amazing. But like I was saying, um, Tajay Sharp had an amazing game for us last week against the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Not really the guy that I was, uh, I was expecting to have a game like that because, I mean, like I said in that game, uh, Tajay Sharp is kind of taking a backseat to, uh, back to Justin Jefferson this year. Second and goal from the two-yard line. We're going to run the ball with Dalvin Cook. And he's able to limbo his way into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. So, Justin, uh, I mean, not Justin Jefferson. Dalvin Cook's not breaking off the long runs like we're used to seeing, or at least he's not early. But he's still finding his way into the end zone. What's that, his 14th, uh, 14th touchdown of the season? We're only in week nine. Keep doing your thing, Dalvin. Keep doing your thing. Second and 10 after, the, after a near interception thrown by Jared Goff. He's back to throw again. Going across the middle and ends up finding Akers down to the 33-yard line. Third and two. Goff back to throw once more. Hit as he's thrown, but Everett makes the catch, but he unfortunately loses a yard. Probably should have just let that ball go. Anyway, brings up a fourth and three and another Rams punt. Boyd back to return, looking to get something going, and couldn't find anything there. And we end up losing, what, 10 yards on the punt because of a hold. So back in our offense up. One minute left here in the uh, first half. Uh, definitely want to try to put, uh, put together a scoring drive. Go into halftime with the lead. Second and 10 from the 20-yard line. Clock is still ticking. Kirk Cousins back to throw. Looking to go deep to Adam Thielen, who's blinking, but he's double covered. We're going we're gonna to be smart. Check it down to, uh, to Justin Jefferson. If you want to call that a check down, a huge gain up to the 47-yard th line. Burning our first time out. Kirk Cousins back to throw. This time looking to go to Adam Thielen. He makes the catch on the sideline over Jalen Ramsey. Down at the 34-yard line. Out of bounds to save that last time out for us. Under pressure by uh, Aaron Donald taking the shot to Adam Thielen. And he's able to draw the pass interference at the one-yard line. 23 seconds left. You know we're going to hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook. And he's into the end zone again for his third touchdown of the day. Dalvin Cook's having an amazing uh, uh, day so far. Three rushing touchdowns on the ground. Met his season goal of 15 touchdowns on the season. So, <laughs> you already know. It's, it's going to be a killer year for Dalvin Cook. Um, so, 17 seconds left here. See what the Rams are going to do. Look like they're trying to uh, take deep shots, put some points up on the board. Going across the middle to Robert Woods. Unable to come away with the catch in the traffic. 13 seconds left. Jared Goff's going to hand the ball off to Cam Akers. And it seems that the Rams are just going to let this clock drip and go into the second half. Um, so, I, well, okay, never mind. I won't go on my first half analysis because the Rams are going to burn a timeout with three seconds left to see if they can get something going. Goff is going to look to take a deep shot. Has a man open. It's Robert Woods. Makes the catch, but 
gets a uh, weird animation and ends up falling down and the first half ends. But anyways, first half, uh, anal uh, analyzing the first half, um, I really need to get Dalvin Cook working, uh, going a little bit more. Yeah, he's got his three first half touchdowns, but I definitely want to be able to show that I can run the ball. The Rams have done a really good job of stopping me on the ground. Um, haven't really had too many huge carries besides that one ru uh, wildcat run with Dalvin Cook. Uh, second and five, second and half from the 48-yard line. Jarrett Goff back to throw. Definitely needing points here on this drive. Touchdown would be lovely. Thir uh, three points would be better for my defense. Third and two situation. Jarrett Goff under pressure, and he's going to go down. Uh, Daniil Hunter coming in off the edge, sacking uh, Jarrett Goff, losing so what, six yards and bringing up another punt. But this time, Hecker, beautiful punt. Um, I'm mad that Boyd didn't want to go back to return it. I tried to run him back there, but then I was like, nah, man, I don't want to run you back there, and you end up losing yards or uh, losing more yards or get tackled in the end zone. Anyways, um, sh uh, risky uh, play right there, running the Wildcat on the three-yard line. But that's the only play that's been working for us so far. That's the only play that we can run to get big yardage on the ground. Uh, Dalvin Cook gets a huge gain up to the 25-yard line. Try to take a deep shot to Adam Thielen, and... Every time I get Adam Thielen blinking, he draws more pass interferences than he does catches. That's just a fact on this year. Uh, second and 10 from the 41-yard line. I'm going to hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook again. And just like every other time we hand the ball off to him, he stopped in the backfield this time, losing four yards. Back to the 45-yard line. Third and 14. Uh, Vikings in danger of letting this drive end without any points at all. Kirk Cousins hit as he's thrown, but completes the pass to Urson Jr., but he uh, unable to get the first down, but gets a decent enough yards to, well, at least I thought to put me in field goal range. But, what, from 54 yards out, our kicker is just unable to make it. Bounces right off the crossbar. Uh, very unfortunate situation there. Definitely thought we had the <laughs> three points at least on there. Vikings drive ends without any points, and the Rams are back on the field again with the chance to tie things up here. Jared Goff completing on the angle route to uh, Texas route to uh, Cam Akers. Picks up a first down. First and ten. I don't know what the hell just happened here. I thought Cam Akers was tackled, but he, somehow he bounced back up, and I think he gained like an additional yard or two. Uh, who are uh, five is Smith? I don't know who Smith is. Um, but Jared Goff ends up completing the pass to him down to the 16 yard line, running the jet sweep with Smith this time. Uh, we sold. We completely sold. If I would have gone for the conservative tackle, we would have been able to get him for the loss. But instead, I go hit stick happy, and he gains uh, four yards. Second and six, ends up hitting a, um, Cam Akers on the pass. Picks up a de uh, decent game of, gain of five yards. Third and one, they end up running the quarterback draw. We blitzed, and somehow Jarrett Goff falls forward for the first down, down to the four-yard line. I mean, that was a perfect play call for the, for the play that he had called. I blitzed. It was a man blitz situation, and somehow he still gained yards. First and goal, Rams are going to run the ball with Cam Akers. And he's able to get the edge into the end zone, and the Rams tie the game up. So, very unfortunate there. I uh, really hate that we weren't able to come up with three points on that offensive drive that we had. I thought we it was decent. It wasn't great. It was decent enough. Get, put us in a situation. But it's all good, man. Uh, Adam Thielen is still blinking, and we're still going to chuck it up to him. Gets a huge game, uh, game uh, chunk play right off the bat. First and 10 from the 31. We tried to go right back to him. We were under pressure. Uh, I just wanted to get rid of the ball, and square was the first thing I tapped. And, yeah, probably wasn't a good uh, good idea. Second and ten, Kirk Cousins trying to go right back to Adam Thielen again. Misfires on this one. Luckily, that ball went out of bounds. If it was inbounds, it sure as hell would have been picked off. Third and ten, checking it down underneath to, Dow, uh, to Justin Jefferson. Doesn't pick up the first down, but gets us a more uh, closer field goal attempt for, our, our, for Dan Bailey from 46 yards out this time. Something good. Um, Dan Bailey was just one for two today on field goals. Really wish he would have gotten that one, though. Um, so 24 to 21, Jarrett Goff back on the field. Uh, definitely need to stop here by our defense. It's been difficult stopping Cam Akers as he runs through the chest of Harrison Smith. Oh, maybe I am glad that you're not here. I mean, you have Enforcer. You're supposed to be laying him out. 
Uh, second and 12 from the 27 yard line. Jared Goff under center. Going to drop back to throw. Under pressure, but he ends up completing it under uh, across the middle to Robert Woods. Picks up the first down, gaining all the way up to the 44-yard line. Robert Woods has been running through this defense, and Jared Goff has had nothing but time. Only gone down for, with the one sack to Daniel Hunter. Got to figure out a way to put more pressure on him. Jared Goff is having way too much time to throw. It's the fourth quarter. We need to start putting pressure on Jared, uh, Jared Goff. Second and one, Jared Goff ends up checking it down underneath to DeShazier Everett. Is that his name? I don't know. Um... Picks up the first down to the 39-yard line. Cam a uh, Cam Akers still having a good day, but this was the first time that we were able to stop him for a loss. This time losing one yard. Uh, second and 11. Golf threading the needle in triple coverage there to, I think that was uh, Everett again. Picks up the first down. Uh, fullback dive is stopped there. Second and nine. Back in the shotgun. Empty formation. Jared Goff back to throw. And we finally come away with the stop. Eric Kendricks jumping the route beautifully. Giving the ball right back to our offense with the chance to go up and either put up points or just kill out the rest of this half. Um, I'm fine with either one. I'm fine with us putting up points on the board. Or I'm fine with us taking out these last three timeouts for the Rams and taking the rest of this. Uh, these two Or taking the rest of these two minutes on the clock. Uh, back in the Wildcat formation because that's the only thing that's working. Dalvin Cook is able to pick up the first down, gain to the 32-yard line. First and 10, we try to run the off tack or yeah, the off tackle with Dalvin Cook. Gets a decent gain of nine yards. Uh, second and inches, we're going to keep the ball in his hands. Taking another timeout, the final timeout from the Rams. Two-minute warning is uh, here. So they have no other chance, no other way to stop the clock. Uh, we're going to run the jet sweep with Justin Jefferson. He's able to turn the edge, try to get past Jalen Ramsey. If we could have gotten a block there by Adam Thielen, we would have been into the end zone. I would have scored it, but it is what it is. And uh, But unfortunately, we do run out of bounds with J uh, Justin Jefferson. Second and 13 from the 13-yard line, back in the Wildcat formation because that's the only thing that's been working. And this time, it does not work. Dalvin Cook gets stopped behind the line. Losing yards here, but it's all good. That's how the game is pretty much going to end here. I'm going to try to take another shot here to the end zone, see if we can get anything going. Doesn't get anything there. And we're just going to go ahead and let this clock drip down, and that's going to be the end of the game. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.